Hello, my name is Robert Daniel Moore. I am a student at Columbia State Community College, and I am also one of the capstone students that was selected to go to Tractor Supply Company in Brentwood, Tennessee at the headquarters and work as an intern for the past four or five months. So I wanted to kind of go over that with you and my experience there. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is with the company's strengths and their weaknesses. The first strength that I wanted to go over was with the employees, actually. Um, the first thing that I noticed was that whenever I got there and I looked around, I saw all the employees working hard with whatever task that they were performing. And this was especially true for our mentor in the program, which was Adam Gaines. Uh, every time you would talk to him, he would have like five or six meetings a day, just back to back to back. And he would do them, come in between them. He would be on the phone. He would be working hard. So he never really got a, much of a break. Um, but when he did, he would use it for the uh, advantage of the company. So he would push these tasks on his own and really work hard to get them done. Um, and another thing on the employees is that soon afterwards, we were invited to go on a lunch with Adam Gaines. So me, the other intern, and Adam all went out to lunch. We ate like Japanese or something um, and just kind of hung out for a little while. And we talked. And we talked about everything from where he was and where he's come to be where he's at right now. And all of the tasks and the things that he's done to get to that point and how hard he's worked throughout his life. Um, but I also noticed that whenever he talked about where he's at now, he always said it as if he was just having the time of his life. He really enjoys the work he does and he sees it throughout the things that Tractor puts out for both the stores and the uh, uh, production stuff. So he really enjoys that. He has worked very hard for where he's been. And I think that's true for every employee there, which is a huge strength for the company and for any company. And that also leads to the second point. I noticed that since everybody enjoys what they do and Tractor makes it real easy for the employees to enjoy it, um, they have a sense of camaraderie, so they always work together really well. They always get to the bottom in meetings. I got had the opportunity to sit through one of the meetings, and the whole time they stayed on task. They talked about everything that needed to be talked about, but they still enjoyed the meeting themselves. It wasn't something that they just had to sit through. So, and I think that's a huge major strength for Tractor, um, for a second strength for them. I did notice, however, that there was a weakness somewhere in there, um, but the weakness is very small, and it is currently being fixed, and that weakness is in their technology. I noticed that they are a little bit behind on technology stuff, um, but the whole time I was there, I was researching new technology trends, and they were researching how to put that technology trend into use in tractor supplies, um, manufacturing processes, and their selling in all types of different ways and I actually had the opportunity to do a project personally for them and I enjoyed every second of it. So this technology trend weakness is soon to be a strength as they soon surpass their competitors in the technology field. So that's all I kind of wanted to talk about with strengths and weaknesses because really they have way more strengths than they do weaknesses. Um, and I can go on and on about the little strengths that come up every now and then but I think those main two kind of encompass all of them. So the second thing I wanted to talk about was me personally. Um, throughout the course of the semester, I noticed that I had a few strengths and weaknesses myself that I would never would have guessed that I had. So the strength of mine uh, came as a bit of a shock. So I realized throughout and after talking and go overing, going over our final presentation for the tractor supply uh, meeting, which is on this Friday, um, that I have pretty decent uh, communication skills. I'm able to get up in front of people relatively comfortably and just talk, um, and I'm able to connect with them through a speech. And I think that's a strength that I'm very blessed to have. Growing up, I was kind of shy, um, and I was worried that that would reflect in this, but it seems that working with tractors helped me grow past that um, them being friendly and everything has really helped me to come out of my shell towards them and has shown me that they're not there to uh, uh, 
criticize me, but I am there helping them, and they see that, and they welcome it with open arms. And so that's why I'm able to open up to them a little bit and talk freely. So another strength of mine that I've realized that I've had is in a little bit of graphic design. I've done several charts, tables, um, a few infographics for the department head Tabitha. So I've realized that that skill of mine is sought after. It's pretty decent. Um, I think they look decent myself. Um, and that's one skill that I've never really built upon. Um, but I'm glad that I have it because I'm able to do those things for like tractor and uh, potential jobs and soon to be careers. So that's my strengths. I do have weaknesses though. My weakness, my main weakness is that I tend to over explain things, which is the downside to my communication. So I can turn a short lecture into a long meeting um, and just over explain all the details and make everybody bored of what I'm saying. Um, and I've realized that, so I've tried to t uh, turn the dial back a little bit and just refrain from over-explaining. Uh, keep it short, keep it brief, but still keep my uh, get my point across. So the third topic I wanted to talk about is my biggest challenge during this internship. And that has to be with my personal project that I mentioned earlier. Um, what it was was creating a VR application that would be an architectural visualization visualization application for the company. So what it is, is they design a store and they're able to walk it, do edits to it, change things around, move shelving, stuff like that. Um, so I finished the project. I'm excited to display it this upcoming Friday for the presentation. And But that, that project has given me some uh, pitfalls. So the first of which has been in programming. Um, I have to use two several different softwares the first of which is what they call an engine, which puts everything together. And the other one is with documentation for the actual VR headset. So they have not been very cross-compatible. I've had to do a lot of research, a lot of uh, error checking, and just going back and forth between programming pages to figure out what I needed to do to fix certain problems. Um, and I think this has helped me a lot with, one, my research, two, programming, and then... Also, with my knowledge of, hey, if you get this wrong, you can always go back and fix it with programming. Um, there's always stuff out there for you to check. You just got to know how to find it. So I think that it's helped me out. I'm getting a little bit better at it. Um, so I've really enjoyed the project, though, regardless of those uh, problems. Um, and I'm glad I finished it. I'm glad I was assigned to it also. So the next topic is over the skills that I wish I had before starting my internship with them. Um, and these are kind of contradictory to what I've learned over the course of my school career. So throughout school, I was taught, you know, make things high level, make them long, you know, complex, show them all the details that they're looking for. And once I got the tractor, I realized that that's not quite right. Um, because in meetings, they're going to want to print out PowerPoints. They're going to want to print out Word documents. And if it's 10 pages long and complex and hard to see, hard to understand, they won't get the point. They'll skip right over it and they'll completely miss everything you're trying to tell them. Um, so I've learned throughout the course since January, so a few months, to kind of dial things back. Keep it simple, but make it entertaining. Make it catch their eye. And then they'll be able to get your point out of it and see that what you're trying to make um, out of that topic is important and applies to everyone in that room. So that's kind of what I wish that I had known before starting was just dialing things back was okay in a business. It doesn't have to be complex. It can be simple um, so that all the other people that work there are on the same level. So... Then, but going off of that, I also wanted to tell you about how I applied some classroom knowledge to this. Um, so throughout my college experience to get my degree in programming, I had a few classes to take with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, things like that. And those classes really helped me out in this internship. I did a lot of Word documents. I had to do a lot of um, specific tasks with those documents, inputting tables, changing those tables to charts, things like that, that I would never have known without these classes. 
um, and then like Excel and PowerPoint, I had to figure out how to do um, different things with those also. And having the skills that I do now from uh, the college classes has really helped me with that and put those on a high level. And I'm really glad that I was able to take those. So the next thing I wanted to talk about, and I got just a few more topics, was how I plan to utilize this internship experience in the future going back to either school if I ever do after this semester since I graduate or going into the workforce. So the first thing I wanted to talk about on that topic was that I noticed that jobs are not just programming all day whenever you get a programming degree. Coming into the degree I was thinking you know I'd be sitting uh, at a desk for eight hours a day um, programming all day, just looking at a computer screen, figuring things out, every once in a while consulting somebody else that's doing the same thing, figuring out an issue, and then going right back to it. Soon, I found out that that was a little wrong in itself, and that a programming job actually does like 12-hour days. It's just constantly working, long-hour days. And that was a bit much for me since uh, I have a hard time working long shifts, as I found out through jobs in the past. So that kind of uh, didn't sit real well with me. But then I also found out that the job I was doing, which was research, was also a degree that fell into that category. The advisor, Adam Gaines, he has a degree in programming also. And yet he's sitting there doing the research. He's doing these jobs. And he's loving every second of it. So that is something that I now realize that I can go into even with just a programming degree. I can go into other fields. Um, so that was how I'm planning on utilizing this experience. Um, and then I also wanted to talk about what the ideal intern uh, character would be for this type of uh, internship. So they have to be good at researching. Um, like I said, I do mostly research throughout this internship, and it's a lot of documenting, documenting the... Uh, research materials, putting them out on a Word document, sending those in for corrections. And then I have found that I've, I'm putting myself, uh, I'm putting these documents into a PowerPoint to present to a bunch of the executives of the company. Um, and so they have to have good communication skills also. They have to be able to work real well with other people in a teamwork environment. Um, and that cooperation is very vital to everything that the employees do, and it also reflects on the internship students. Um, everything that they do has to be cooperative with other people and work alongside them. So this internship has really affected, affected my career plans. Um, like I said, I noticed that not all computer jobs, uh, especially in the programming, is going to be sitting at a desk all day just doing one simple task. It can be anything from researching like I'm doing now to developing products, developing new systems for um, the company to put into place in stores, in manufacturing plants, things like that. So that's really broadened my idea of what jobs would be after graduating. And I would be happier with a uh, job like I'm doing now versus just sitting at a desk all day doing one simple programming thing at a time. Once that's done, jumping to the next project. Um, so I've really changed my uh, idea of what type of job I'm wanting to go into after I graduate. So that's kind of everything on this internship over the past semester that I wanted to talk with you about. Um, I've really enjoyed my time there. I really have. Um, I've got to do a lot of amazing things with a lot of amazing people. Um, from VR projects to researching, documenting things that apply to me, artificial intelligence. It, everything that I am interested in, I was able to work on. And they let me choose and pick which one I wanted to do. So I've really enjoyed it. Looking forward to what future interns are going to do through the program. And um, looking forward to the next page in my journey. So thank you. Have a good rest of the evening.